Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill so first I'm going to start by chopping up my vegetables that I've already washed off. I have two green bell peppers as well as one large yellow onion and I usually chop up fresh garlic as well but unfortunately this time I didn't have any but I love my garlic because you know garlic makes everything taste better. So I'm just going to chop up these vegetables that I have and once I'm done I will come back with the next step. Next, I have some thinly sliced beef round steak that I'm going to slice up into smaller pieces. And I did rinse this off off camera. I'm just going to slice this into some thinly sliced pieces. And you guys, I do have another pepper steak video on my channel. And that one was, it was an easy recipe with packaged gravy. This video, I will be showing you how to make the same pepper steak, but with homemade gravy. So I wanted to take a moment to say welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning. I hope everyone is having a great blessed day. Happy Vlogmas guys. And if you haven't already, please hit the like button. Please like my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave me a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video. So now that I have my steak all cut up, I'm going to add some soy sauce to it. Not too much, just enough to add a little bit of extra flavor and a little tenderizer as well. I'm also going to go in with some onion powder, some garlic powder, I have some black pepper, and I'm also going to use a little bit of Lori seasoning salt. And I'm not going to use too much because like I said, I don't want to make it too salty because I will be using other seasonings for flavor that has salt in it as well. So I just sprinkled a little bit. I'm gonna mix everything together and I'm just gonna let it sit to the side for about 30 minutes to marinate. So it's been 30 minutes already. So now I have my onions and my green bell peppers and I put some olive oil in the skillet and I'm just going to cook these for about five minutes or until your peppers and onions are a little bit brown. I don't want to cook them too much because I will be cooking them with the meat. Speaking of meat, I'm going to add my meat into my skillet and I'm going to mix everything in and then I'm just going to allow this meat to brown. Once this brown, you guys, I will be back with the next step. So now that I allow my meat to brown, I'm going to add in some beef broth. And this broth is where you start forming your gravy. So I'm just going to pour that in. You could pour in as much or as little as you want. If you want a lot of gravy, you can add in more. If you want less gravy, just add in less.
So once my beef broth started boiling, I went in with some browning seasoning. And you can add in as little or as much browning seasoning as you want. Of course, add a little bit if you don't want it as dark. Add a little more if you want your gravy to be darker. So after about 7 minutes, I added this better than bouillon and this is the roasted beef base flavor and this is where your flavor come in. So I added about 2 spoons of that and I just mixed that in and just let it cook for about 5 more minutes. So now you will see me adding some cornstarch and this is your thickener. I only added about two spoons, not too much because I don't want it too thick. And if it's too thick for you at any point, all you have to do is add in a little bit more of the beef broth to thin it out. But this was perfect for me and my family. I didn't want it too, um, I didn't want it too thick and I didn't want it too thin. It was just right. So at this point, I'm going to turn my fire down really low and allow this to simmer for about 10 minutes. And at that point, your pepper steak should be done. Your meat should be nice and tender. Your gravy should be nice and thick. And all you have to do is serve this with some rice and it's time to eat. So this is how your pepper steak should look once it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys try this recipe. And if you do, please leave me a comment down below and let me know how did you like it. I had to make this two days in a row. My kids absolutely enjoyed this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as my family did. And as always, guys, until the next time, thanks for watching. and. Be blessed. I will be doing a giveaway soon, so be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching, guys.